All right. Hey, this is Jeremy, and this is today's Five for Five devotion. In the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 5, Jesus told his disciples, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Remain in me, and I in you, and you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus was telling his disciples, look, if you remain in me, you will do great things for the Lord. You will bear a lot of fruit. But if you get away from me, if you are apart from me, you are ineffective. You can do nothing for me because you can't do anything without the power of Jesus. Now, I have watched people try to have a relationship with Jesus one of two ways. One way is they get powered up by starting a relationship with Christ. They every now and then read their Bible, but if it's inconvenient, they don't add it into their daily life. They pray only when they're in times of trouble, only when there is a need. They kind of sporadically attend worship. Maybe they're a part of a group of Christians that follow and get together. Maybe they're not. And you know what? That kind of way of doing life with Christ, it reminds me of one of two different types of drills that I have at my house. One type of power drill I have is like this one. It's a cordless drill. It's great. I mean, it's very convenient. You get it powered up and you go and do a job wherever you want to do a job. But you know what happens? After a while, it runs out of power and you have to go and get it powered up again. The other type of drill I have is one that has a cord. Now, this type of drill is not very convenient, but once it's plugged in, it always has a source of power. And as long as you stay connected to that, you are powered up. Now, sometimes that means I have to get an extension cord or I have to stay close to the outlet. And that is inconvenient. But that is the way to stay powered up. And that is the way that reminds me of how we should have a relationship with Jesus. Having a relationship with Jesus, a daily relationship with Jesus, is not very convenient. I'm going to be honest with you. It requires time. It might require you waking up a little bit earlier than you normally do because it requires opening up God's word and reading the Bible and seeing what Jesus has to say to you. It requires time in prayer. And I mean real time in prayer where you talk to Jesus, you build a relationship with him. It requires time each week where you go and you get under the teaching of God's word through a church worship service. It requires being a part of a group of other believers who walk closely with the Lord. And you guys help each other in your daily walks with Jesus. Those kinds of relationships, that kind of relationship with Jesus is not convenient, but it's very powerful. You stay connected with Jesus every day. You remain in him and he remains in you. And you can do a lot of great things for the Lord. If you get apart from him, if you just get charged up every now and then, after a while, you're going to lose power and you're going to be ineffective. So I want to challenge you. How's your relationship with Christ? Are you staying connected every day? I know it's an inconvenience, but it's worth the hassle because you always want to be connected to that power source because when you are, God will make you powerful and you can do great things for him. I pray that you get to stay more connected with Jesus and I pray that you take the rest of this year to figure out a way to get plugged in and build a better and stronger relationship with him. I also hope you can stay connected with us. We've got so many awesome things going on here with First Baptist Church of Islands. We're about to start our Christmas Community Challenge in the next few weeks where we challenge you to get out there and serve others and serve the Lord and show other people the power of Jesus through your love and through your actions. Hey, stay connected with us by checking out our weekly newsletter. It'll come through an email later tonight or first thing in the morning. Also, stay connected with us this weekend. Jump online at fbcislands.com, watch one of our services, or better yet, be here. Get connected to one of our groups. Get underneath the teaching of God's Word this weekend. I hope you have a great rest of the day. See ya.